Welcome to Downey Live. I am so excited to show you this. We are on a fireworks barge as they set up for the fireworks show tomorrow night. All of this will be exploded tomorrow night. Look how big these are. So we are at Vancouver's biggest fireworks festival. It's the Honda Celebration of Light. So is this totally safe to handle like this? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have any fire on you? Nope. No, then we're good. When the designer designs the show, yeah. each each bomb that goes up is going to have a specific time that it's going up. Right. In this particular case, it's a six inch shell for post five and it's line 57 in, in A. So each one of these bombs, everything has an actual address. The computer knows that at a certain time it's going to fire this one. All right, so let's start at the beginning. I'm going to walk you through the whole process of planning and building one of the largest fireworks shows in the world. So first step, you have to design it. They use a computer program, kind of like editing a movie. You put in the music you want, you add the effects, sort of the explosions to the computer that you want. And once you've designed your show the way you want it to look, then you hit basically complete and it will print off a list of the fireworks you need and it will set a program for all of the timing to shoot off those fireworks. So they then order the fireworks. They then arrive here on the supply bar. So this has multiple containers on it. It's double locked, everything is secured. They arrive, then here the guys can unload them, bring them over and start setting up. We put an electric match in here, yeah. which connects to the module boxes. I didn't know if you saw those that, that I, we were did, out. Yeah. yeah. So that the computer is telling that module box to send a pulse, an electric pulse to the match, right. which lights this black match, yeah. which goes all the way down the side into, into a lift charge, which okay. is pretty much just like the old fashioned musket. Yeah. You pack the powder in, light it, boom, right? It's like a gun. The bigger it is, the higher it goes, the louder it booms. Uh, and there's different kinds of effects that appear in all the different uh, types of shells. So what designers will do is they'll fill the sky with peonies in three inches and then four inches, five, six, and then a big eight to, to cap it off. So fireworks come in a few different sizes. We have our two and a half inches, our three inches, our four inches, our fives, our six inches, and of course, our eight inches for the real big boom. So this six inch shell will, will go roughly 600 feet. Wow. In a couple seconds. Yeah. So it's a lot of power. And then be timed to explode once it gets to the top. Yeah, so all that, all that is, is, um, accounted for in the timing right the split seconds that it takes for this burns at roughly 65 feet a second wow that's fast that's really fast yeah so blink of an eye yeah so when that when that delay fuse burns up yep then it lights all the other fuses inside and lights all the effects in the side and then through compression it breaks this gotcha which is either plastic or just wraps and wraps and wraps and wraps and wraps of, of of paper and it's it's judged a lot about color matching and how it syncs to the music and so the designers spend a lot of time uh, really understanding their product so that they can make shows that sync up well with the music that they've chosen and that will also look good to the audience in terms of builds of brightness and color matching and things like that so it's actually quite a lot of planning and design that goes into it yeah, carefully wow. you're gonna walk in a Thank ditch you. here yeah. So the process of installing the fireworks is as follows. You dig a hole in the sand, then you put in the empty tubes. Once you have all the tubes lined up, you're gonna grab your firework, check the address that it needs to be at, put that firework in its specific addressed tube, and then after that, it's a lot of cable tying and connecting, connecting the fuse to that particular explosive, connecting all the wires along to a module box, now, of course, it's all computer programmed these days, so everything goes off in synchronization and at the appropriate time, so everything looks great to us. Can I stand here? Am I in the way of anything? No, no. no? Okay, what's your name? Magnus. Magnus, and you're the designer? Yeah, I'm the designer of the show. Of the show, okay. Yeah. How many fireworks do we have shooting off today? Yeah, come back in 10 minutes, okay. I will count them. <laughs> I don't really know. No. Okay. It's like 2,500 shells yeah. in the sky, and a lot amount of small things coming up from the box. Wow, and how long is the show? 
25 minutes. 25 minutes for yeah. a fireworks show. Don't let the work How did you around. get started in this? The fireworks business? Yeah. Uh, that's a long story. I had uh, used to run a nightclub. Oh, okay. And when I sold the nightclub, I, I had a friend that was working in the fireworks business. And uh, he asked me if I want to join him because I didn't have any work. Right. So I did. Wow. That's really interesting. <laughs> You, you never grow up as a kid going, I want to be a fireworks designer. And if you do, I hope you do. Co contact Magnus, maybe he'll show you how to do it. But this is, uh, it's such an interesting business that we don't hear much about. Thanks, Magnus. I can't wait to see it tonight. Each one of these can have a firework strapped into it, and it's going to happen right onto there. Then the wires go into the middle, and then you can get a nice sort of pattern that goes brrrump out to the side or over to one side or anything gotcha. like that. So I'm standing here trying to figure out why we go through all of this. Why do we love fireworks so much? Why do I love fireworks so much that I wanted to come here and see this and you love them so much that you clicked this to see how they set it all up? And I think the answer is, it's one of the greatest get together moments that you can get together with your friends, go down to the beach or a rooftop just to watch the fireworks. And honestly, there's so many more new technologies now that we could be using, but we just love the raw firework power. I I love it. I mean, it's so simple. This year's theme is love. Yeah. So what what inspired you for tonight's show? Love to my wife. <laughs> you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Personally, I like seeing the audience reaction and also making sure all the work we did. It's both nerve-wracking and exciting. It's a certain kind of stage fright when you spend a bunch of hours waiting to see if the work you set up is what you think it's gonna be. Right. Yeah. And also for shows like this, none of us know Sweden's soundtrack. None of us know exactly what the show's gonna look oh, like. Really? You don't even know the music? No, because uh, we get the script, they give us instructions on how to set it up, and so it's often as much a surprise for us That's as cool. it is for uh, the audience. But it's really neat to be able to set everything up and be like, ooh, this is gonna be neat. I wonder what this is gonna look like. Which oh, is nice. a pretty interesting process. And the final line of defense safety for crew and everyone working here is the aluminum foil that they put on top. This prevents sand from getting in as well as water from affecting the fireworks but most importantly from sparks or fire getting in there and setting them off. So they actually fire the fireworks through the aluminum foil so that way let's say this row is going off at the two minute mark of the fireworks show but the one next to it is only going off at the 20 minute mark maybe it's still protected from all the sparks and whatnot going in, so it's not going to affect the show and shoot off the fireworks. So they, they run through almost 10 rolls of aluminum foil, the big heavy-duty Costco stuff, uh, every show. So if you run an aluminum foil company and you want to sponsor them, maybe uh, yeah, reach out to them. And the final piece of the show is the control room. So they have the time code which is telling them when to start specifically so it's timed with the music. They don't control the music in here, they only control the fireworks. But once it's time to start, they literally just press start and the show will take care of itself. Now, in case of an emergency, that w those windows are bulletproof glass. Also, they're right next to the water so their escape route is off around the corner to the ledge behind that steel wall and the fire department can come pick them up there or if it's very severe they're in the water but the likelihood of that is slim to none. That's it for the behind the scenes but it's not over we got to shoot these things off and I'm watching from a pretty special place tomorrow and also Kelly is going to film what it's like on the barge for us so if you're not already make sure to subscribe so you can come back and watch that video I don't know where I'm going next but I know I want you there with me. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.